Good morning again everyone. I'm down in West Sussex today. We're outside the Devil's Dyke, a massive like V-shaped valley here. We're not far from Brighton actually in the coast. Um, it's going to be an inland walk today. It's a walk from Country Walking Magazine and it's ten and a half miles I believe. Um, the weather outside is absolutely awful. It's fairly windy but it's just really heavy rain and we forecast that for most of the weekend so hence why I'm doing the intro in the car. I'm joined by Ben aka Londoner Outdoors. He's next to me in his car filming his little video and yeah I've just we've literally just got here. Um, the Devil's Dyke is owned by the National Trust. We're going to be following a section of the South Downs Way so, you know, that, the navigation should be fairly easy, he says. Um, I've got all my stuff in the back here. We was planning on packing light and taking hooped bivvy bags, like the Rab Ridge Raider. But then the weather changed and it was awful. And we said, well, let's take tents. So I've got my OEX Fox 1 tent. Just wanted something lightweight, a small little backpacking tent. I can get in it and I can sort of cook inside the porch and basically get out of the weather for for most of the night it's probably going to start getting dark around four o'clock it's about 11 a.m now so we've got a few hours to get some walking done uh, find a potential spot we're probably going to be on quite high ground there's a few hills that we're going to be visiting and stuff on the route um, so yeah i'm expecting the weather to be pretty bad so i'm not going to film too much um, but i'll try and keep you updated along the walk enough talking Let's get walking! bit of an update um, so me and Ben have been walking along the South Downs Way as you can see the weather was really bad apparently uh, it's known as Storm Deirdre and Scotland have got snow they're on Amber Alert and they've got this as well but well, we've got really really strong winds 
and really heavy rain. So we gave up on the rest of the walk. I think it was Trud uh, Trudley or Truly Hill, where there's loads of antenna like masts and towers. We were going to walk to there, cut off the last part of the walk, and uh, come back and start looking for somewhere to camp. Well, we didn't even get that far. We uh, we basically we yeah we didn't get to the hill. Um, we sort of turned around because we could see in the distance there was nowhere like worth camping. It's all too exposed, and, and so the the rain, the wind just closed in on us. I don't know if you can hear me because it's so loud this this rain. So we'd spotted like a, a small group of trees, sort of on the the side of the the ridge because it's up on a high ridge. You see, it's probably about. I think it's 200 metres, something like that up. And uh, we can see sort of all the little villages below us, like Falking. Um, and we thought, oh, let's just pitch up there. Um, it's on a bit of a slope, it's not a, a great pitch. I'm inside the, the OEX Fox 1 at the moment. Um, and it's, it's not working great, only because the wind is just pancaking one side of it. And it I think the cold air basically and like the wind is getting underneath um, the fly sheet where I can't peg it down fully or there's like a gap underneath it it's just because you know the pitch is so un uneven the wind is just getting in and it basically all the stuff that I've kept dry now feels like it's getting wet this down jacket though feels like it's dry but like my sleeping bag for example just feels like it's getting wet I've got the softy trousers on, the bivvy boots, I've got a change of thermal long johns on, I've got a, a change of everything dry, but it all feels like it's just starting to get damp, where the weather's so strong it's just passing underneath the fly sheet. So, um, ah, I've just managed to get the boil in the bag mill heated up, that's finally started working. I can't even use a stove, I mean, the porch is non-existent, as I say, I can't peg out the front of the fly sheet, so, uh, you can't really cook, um, you know, with a gas stove or anything, in, you know, inside the porch even, because it's just still too windy there, um, that steam is the flameless ration heater going, I'm going to do some burgers and beans, I think I'll have that, it's only about five o'clock, half past five, uh, we've been in the tent since about three easily um, and yeah I'm I am starting to get pretty cold now it's you know it's not pleasant this one so uh, yeah I say everything just feels like it's getting damp and I just can't keep anything dry really um, so what we're gonna do I think me and Ben we, we can't even talk to each other he's in his tent I'm in mine he's got a Van Gogh Zenith two person tent so he's got a bit more space but, um, but uh, he's just messaged me saying uh, it's going to be grim getting back into wet gear but no choice really all our waterproofs are soaked um, I think what we're going to do is abandon this one so apologies um, it's probably the best thing really the, the weather isn't going to die off until several hours later um, and it, yeah as I say it's getting pretty cold so and the weather's not going to ease off um, so we're going to have to we've got about two and a half miles to walk back to get to the cars along some pretty exposed along the South Downs way there so not really looking forward to that but at least we're just going to you know get back to the cars We've got dry clothes there, we've got the heaters, of course, in the car. Don't know what we're going to do, because we probably shouldn't drive in this sort of weather either, so we might have to sleep in the cars overnight, but I'll let you know whatever happens anyway. So, uh, yeah, apologies again, no camping this time. Um, and uh, we're going to start getting packed up, I think, so it's going to take a bit of time, because I'm in this tiny little Fox 110, Ben's in his, his Zenith, um, so I might as well have me beans and burgers now. <laughs>
So, oh, it's actually warm. It's so nice. The warmth coming off of that is... That should be burning my hand. That's how cold I am. Ah, that's so toasty. Um, yeah, so I'm going to eat that, get packed up. I'll get back to you probably once we're back at the cars. Bit of an update. As you can see, we've made it back to the cars at Saddlescombe Farm. And, yeah, the journey of how we got there was quite a fascinating one. So, we decided to pack up in the rain and the wind. Everything got soaked um, and covered in mud as well, as did we. We were soaked through. Um, we just chucked everything in the rucksacks and just, like, hauled ass out of there, really. But then we come unstuck because the visibility was so bad because of this storm, Storm Deirdre or whatever it's called. The visibility was so bad up on the downs, we couldn't find the South Downs way at first. Um, we could not see, even with my powerful head torch, my through night head torch, it was just, the visibility was awful. You know, glasses are steaming up, couldn't see because of the rain. It was like sideways rain and wind coming off the English Channel, like from Brighton way. Ben had a compass on this whistle and we said right we've got to head east really so and you know we sort of using the map as well and we went right let's get back out to this little country road that we sort of passed earlier on the walk of course we couldn't see anything but we had a good I'd say probably a good mile of walking there to find it in the dark and we so we thought let's, let's find east so we, we kept heading east and eventually suddenly we, we came across like uh, you know the track the, the South Downs way it was in the dark and we thought like, right let's just follow this we found this little country road and went right I'm gonna stick Google Maps on the phone because we don't want to walk past the Devil's Dyke because it's a really dodgy footpath and you can easily get blown over the side and down into into the dike itself so we was like we're not doing that in the dark that's how strong the winds were honestly I'm not I'm not exaggerating it and we said let's try and you know road walk it back so we might have to go through Falking or wherever the little village suddenly a car come along and this guy I, f I said let's flag him down he might give us a lift or at least he'll give us directions anyway so that's what we did and he went yeah do you want a lift and we jumped in everything was soaked oh we were just soaked he was fine with it he was like happy to help I think he was a really top bloke as well and uh, yeah, anyway, cut a long story short, goss back to the cars here. So, luckily, I've got a change of dry clothes and a uh, warm jacket. I've even got a, a spare sleeping bag in the car in case we need to sleep in the cars. But we've we've decided now that the rain has actually stopped. It's, always, it's sod's law in it. Always stops at that point, right? Um, it's night time. I said, no, no, like the bloody sun will come out as well. But um, at night... <laughs> Um, that's a joke, yeah. Um, Ben's doing a, a boil in the bag meal. He's because he hasn't eaten yet, and he needs some hot food because he was getting a bit funny. Um, whereas I had my beans and burgers, that was all right. Um, so he's going to have that, and I think we've made the decision we're going to try and drive home. The weather's eased up a little bit, as I say, it stopped raining, but the roads are flooded. It's yeah, it's quite bad. So we're going to try and make our way home. Um, and just yeah abandon this one so yeah big apologies again everyone um, but you know sometimes you've got to be sensible haven't you and go no to be honest with you, we probably shouldn't have gone out in this weather anyway we didn't know it was going to be this bad but we knew it was going to rain so probably should have not bothered really stayed in but you know so that is the end of this video bit of an anti-climax so there's not not really a lot uh, of interest I hope you enjoyed it anyway and maybe learnt something from it, you know, like if it says bad weather, don't go out in it, especially on the South Downs, so it's always bad on the South Downs. If the weather's bad, it's going to be really bad. Um, so, but apparently the whole country's getting hit by this. Um, Scotland have got snow, everywhere's got, you know, rain and wind, which depends on where you are really, how bad it is, but everyone's getting something, so, you know. Anyways, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Um, thanks for the support as always. Anyways, Ben's uh, somewhere over here. Somewhere over there, so say goodbye, Ben. Bye.
Bye. See you later everyone. Take care of yourselves, look after each other. See you soon. Bye. So right in front of us is a massive dike. Ben, have you seen the size of this dike? Big. Big dike. Wow. <coughs> Darth Maul, Darth Maul. He's got the double one. It's the Darth, it's Darth Maul, Essex, Darth Maul. Ah!